bacon text and true so now we see that okay these are the three items that configure your connection the first one is how to send data to the server and of course you have git and you also have some other options but I won't confuse you right now pretty much any option that you can have in PHP um, you know you have your options there but right now we're just you know using basic git so uh, you know if you're thinking like you know post or anything don't even worry about that right now the second parameter is where to send data so of course we aren't working with the PHP file right now that's gonna you know generate this cool crap we will later on but right now we're just working with a plain text file so the last parameter is if it's true we want it to handle asynchronously and asynchronously pretty much means of course at the same time so that's the basics of the open function remember it doesn't connect with the server we are not connected with the server yet it just says okay whenever we're ready to connect use these options so like I said poorly named function whoever created Ajax get your crap together so the next thing we want to do is we want to call XML on ready state change. Now this actually it isn't a function, it's just oops, actually did that wrong. It isn't a function, it's just a property. Now we need to set this property equal to whatever function is actually going to handle the response and the cool thing about Ajax is that there is no built-in function because every response is unique so we're gonna to have to build that function on our own later on it's gonna be the last function that we build so I'm just gonna name mine handle server response so basically whenever we create a function handle server response you need to tell Ajax okay whenever and this is you need to set this property in every single program It's basically saying anytime something happens in your communication or your conversation with the server anytime something changes that I want you to call this function and we'll talk about the different states right now and then you're gonna understand why this is called a ready state change but just the basics this is what you have to remember set this equal to the function that gets called anytime your state is changed boom roasted so the last thing that we actually need to do is we need to call one more function and that is send and go ahead and type null right here alright so this function right here is the function that sends the request or basically this function is the function that communicates or connects with the server so the key things that I want to point out here is you need to make sure you have your on ready state change before this a lot of people you know um, communicate with the server and then they write after this what happens whenever we get a response back but you always want your on ready state change set up before this and this is why whenever the server responds then you already need to make sure that you are ready to handle the response properly so in every Ajax program configure your connection set up you know basically how you want to communicate with the server where you want to send that data to or basically what file you're going to be working with and then you're going to say okay whenever I get a response from the server this is how I'm going to handle it and then once everything is set up just like you need it to you can go ahead and send your request to the server or pretty much begin communication so that's basically all the process function is going to do and now that we have you know established hopefully a communication with the server what we want to do now oh flim 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 flim, flim. what we want to do now is we want to handle the server response so in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to code this last function handle server response and after this you guys are going to be pros of Ajax and this is pretty much the it's going to be the most complex function but it's going to give you guys the greatest understanding of why Ajax programs work the way that they do so I'm excited you guys should be too it's gonna to be awesome I'll see you then